Welcome to this demonstration of the Welch Allen 7100 24 hour ambulatory blood pressure monitor. This film has been designed to show you how to set up the device, how to set up a patient test, how to download the results after a patient test, and also how to use some of the report functions available in the CardioPerfect software. First, let's take a look at the components of the ABPM 7100. Out of the box we have the ABPM itself, the CardioPerfect software which needs to be installed on your computer, two cuffs, Adult and Adult Plus, a carrying case, a USB interface cable and finally AA batteries to power the device. Rechargeable batteries can also be used. Most of the test preparation work can be done before the patient enters the room. First, remove the battery cover from the back of the unit and place two AA batteries into position. Then connect your ABPM unit to the USB interface cable. The cable goes into the bottom of the port on the unit itself and then into the USB port on your computer. Then switch on the unit using the on-off switch located at the top of the device. The display will now be in co-mode for communication. Open the CardioPerfect software. If the patient hasn't had a 24-hour blood pressure test before, click the Patient button in the top left-hand corner. Enter the patient ID number, the patient's name, their gender, and their date of birth. Click OK and the patient's details are now saved. If the patient has had a 24-hour blood pressure test, their details can be found using the search function by inputting either their surname or patient ID number. When you have found the patient details, highlight their name, then click on the ABP icon at the top of the screen. You will be prompted to select the device you are using for the test. The software will now communicate with the device and a box appears on screen which reads New Ambulatory Blood Pressure Test. Within this box, select the desired protocol and click OK. The device will be programmed with the patient ID, protocol, date and time. For information about editing the protocols, please refer to the user manual. Once programmed, the screen indicates the test is in progress on the device at which point you can disconnect the USB interface cable from the unit. You are now ready to see your patient. When you're ready, fit the correct size cuff to your patient with the cuff tubing pointing towards the top. Attach the cuff tubing to the ABPM. To start the test, press the start button on the front of the unit. The device takes a test reading which you'll be able to see on the display. It is important that this reading is successful otherwise no further readings will be taken. If this reading fails, this will be indicated by an error message on the device. If successful, the device will show the date and time on the display. During the first inflation, the device will slowly inflate in small increments to find the systolic blood pressure. The device has auto-feedback logic, which will remember this initial reading and inflate to just above this value for the next measurements, helping to improve patient comfort during the 24-hour test. The patient should be made aware of the day-night function on the device. If desired by the clinician, the patient should press this button when they go to bed and when they wake up. It's not imperative to do this, but can be useful for the clinician as markers are added to the report to show the patient's resting state. At this point, you can put the unit into the pouch and give to the patient to wear using either the shoulder strap provided or the patient's belt. As the patient is going to be wearing the unit for the next 24 hours, it's recommended that they wear loose-fitting clothes for comfort. After 24 hours, the patient should return to have the ABPM removed. Once removed, turn the device off by pressing the on-off button for two seconds. You must take the bladder out of the cuff and thoroughly clean the outer cover before using on a new patient. Please clean according to your practice's guidelines. The cuff is capable of being machine washed or hand washed. 
You can now download the results. To do this, plug the USB interface cable into your computer with the other end connected to the ABPM and open the CardioPerfect software. Then switch on the ABPM using the on-off button. The unit will again go into co-mode. In CardioPerfect Workstation, find and highlight your patient's name. In the bottom left-hand corner, click on the date and time that the test was set up and then click Read Measurements. The download of 24 hours data takes approximately 10 seconds. The screen will then display the message Ambulatory Blood Pressure Measurements Readback. Once the data is downloaded, the ABPM memory is automatically cleared. You can view the patient's results in many different formats in CardioPerfect by selecting the tabs at the top of the screen. For example, the Trends tab will show you a graph of the entire 24 hours and the Summary tab will give you the whole test average for systolic and diastolic readings. Any of these reports can be saved as a PDF file for attaching to your patient record system. It is recommended to remove the batteries after use and use a new set of batteries for the next patient. That's the end of this WellChallen ABPM training session. For further information, please refer to the ABPM 7100 user manual.